BNTU President Ruth Schumann's transition into office was met with backlash from several concerned BNTU members. They claim that her presidency violates the BNTU's constitution. Her opponents are gathering signatures, seeking a petition and judicial revision, attempting to block the presidency of their newly elected leader. On her first day in office, Schumann went live yesterday evening to galvanize support from the union. Teachers I, and members, I have been placed in this position not to, not to bring anything other than unity, other than what you deserve. For years I have been serving the BNTU. It is not now. Um, I started as a staff rep for my school <clears throat> over 15 years ago, and I have served in various capacities throughout. One thing I must be consistent, and I have been throughout my service to BNTU, is that I've always put the best interests of our members before anything else. And with that, I've been consistent, which has led to various attacks on my person in the past. And that is okay, because that's part of what we do. That will not change. Schumann claims that she knew prior to being elected president that people would have used her past against her. Schumann faced criminal charges in 1998 for theft and admitted to stealing $110,000 from Island Marketers LTD and Belize Yacht Club in San Pedro. She was ordered to pay $81,028 in 2000 by the Supreme Court. Despite this, Schumann adds that her past will not overshadow the work she wishes to accomplish within the BNTU. With that said, I'll say that as it pertains to all the incidents that have been going back and forth, what I will say is that whatever is out there was something that transpired when I was a teenager, quarter of a century ago, and long before I became a teacher. I know that holding this position opens myself to attacks and that is okay. We live in a democratic country and everyone is entitled to have a voice. I don't plan on silencing anyone's voice. As a matter of fact, as unionists, we are created from the bedrock of democracy, justice, having a voice for the voiceless. So I will not silence or attempt to silence anyone who has a voice in this country. But I will also not waste any precious time in trying to answer to things that don't help the union and will not push the work of the union forward either.